at the United Dairy Industry of Michigan, we work on behalf of Michigan's nearly 1,200 dairy farm families who work to care for their animals and land every single day and bring you nutritious and delicious dairy foods. If you want to learn more about dairy farming, find recipes, and learn how dairy plays a really important part in our diet, visit our website, www.milkmeansmore.org. We hope you enjoyed the tour. Usually the favorite place to visit on the dairy farm is a calf barn. On this tour, we will learn many ways dairy farmers care for their calves. We'll also meet a dairy veterinarian. Veterinarians are one of the many experts that dairy farmers work with to ensure their cows stay healthy and produce nutritious milk. First, let's meet Dr. Colleen Potter and learn about her role working with dairy farmers. I am a large animal veterinarian at South Kent Veterinary Hospital in Caledonia, Michigan. Um, and this is one of my farms that I get to come to a couple times a month. Um, I decided to become a veterinarian when I was in middle school, mostly at that point because I just really liked cows and I thought it would be fun. But um, I really love the role that I get to play in agriculture. I love getting to know my farmers and building a relationship with them and getting to hang out with these guys. So in order to become a veterinarian, I did some college at Grand Valley State University. So I did a bachelor's in biology, and then I went on to do veterinary school at Michigan State University. Um, through uh, undergrad and through vet school, I did different internships. I rode along with large animal vets that were near my home. And then in the summers of vet school, I worked on a dairy farm. I worked for a couple different companies, just getting as much experience as I could. Dr. Colleen, you're in a calf barn. Can you tell us how the calves are cared for right after they're born? So I'm hanging out in the calf pen and these girls are super important because these are the future of the milking herd on this farm. So we have to make sure we take really good care of them so they can be big, strong mama cows someday. So when these girls are first born within the first couple hours of life, they will receive colostrum, which is mom's first milk. And it's super important to help build up their immune system. Another thing important for their immune system is a couple of vaccines that they'll get as soon as they're born. And we do that so that we can keep them super healthy and um, so they can grow up into big mamas. And then the other thing is they'll clean their little belly buttons because that's another area that they can um, get an infection and get sick from. So we want to make sure they don't get sick from that. Um, and then within the first couple hours, they'll be up walking around and bouncing around happy as can be. Dr. Colleen, can you show us what the calves drink from? So these little babies are still drinking milk. So when we look at one of these bottles, this has six pints in it. And depending on how big the babies are, um, they can drink one to two of these twice a day, which is a lot of milk. So that would be like one or two gallons twice a day, um, if you can picture that. And then we can use these big bottles, which are a little bigger than human baby bottles, um, but these are a little bigger than our human babies. Dr. Colleen, sometimes it gets cold here in Michigan. How do dairy farmers keep their calves warm? So sometimes when the weather gets cooler, especially here in Michigan, um, our little tiny babies can't always keep themselves warm. So we'll put these little coats on them and that way they stay nice and toasty um, and another way to keep them healthy. Now we'll visit with Ethan Haywood of Sand Creek Dairy in Western Michigan. Ethan, thank you for showing us your calf barn. Can you start by talking about some of the technology you use to care for your calves? Because we feed cows so well, they're so comfortable, and we've advanced them so far genetically, cows really make about 10 times as much as what their baby needs to drink. So what we're doing is we milk the cows, we bring down all the milk that we need for the babies and make sure that they're fed for the day, and then what's left over is what ends up in the stores. So the first priority is taking care of these little gals here. And what we have here is very similar to the system that Dr. Colleen described for us. So we start out in these little hutches, we, um, or casitas is what we call them. And what they are is like a little, the little clear beds that you see in the hospital that babies first start out in. You want babies to be able to see everything. You want them to be comfortable, but you don't want them touching each other because they're, they're brand newborn and their immune systems are not yet formed. So baby calves take about seven days to get their immune system fully up and going. And once they're doing that, then they go into these group pens on what we call our robot barn. 
The reason we call it a robot barn is every little calf in here, rather than drinking out of a bottle and having to be bottle fed individually every day, what they have is a little electronic button inside their ear. So when they walk up to this stall with that electronic button, this little trap door opens up and then they are allowed to eat. Sometimes it does open and sometimes it doesn't. And that depends on the computer. So this computer is keeping track of how much they eat, what time they eat, and making sure that their meals aren't too close together. So if they are allotted to eat, they go up, door opens, and there's a little uh, calf nipple there. And then the robot inside the room here has a what we call our big silver jug of milk, and it processes it through and then goes through and feeds it to the calves. Right now, it's working on finishing up an automated wash cycle and then calves will be able to eat. So we try and keep things very clean. You have to think of calves just like regular human babies. You know, you've got, they want to put everything in their mouth. So you have to keep everything clean all the time. And especially for, you know, the products that are for their food. Ethan, you mentioned that the computer reads the calf's ear tag. Can you tell us more about those tags? Yeah, so everybody gets their own unique number that's in both ears. And then in their left ear is a little round button that you can see. And that's the little electronic tag. These are just like getting earrings in. You know, it's a very small <laughs> piercing and it doesn't bother them at all. Um, sometimes they like to play with them and lick each other's and mess around with them. But they really don't notice them. Um, and we put them in when they're very young and they have them throughout the entirety of their lives then. Uh, so a lot of our cows do have names, but then it's easier to keep track of them in the computer with the ear tag number. Oh, sure. Yeah. One of the things that I know that you also do in the barn is you've got some ventilation. Ventilation, our air quality is so important for us and it's so important for the calves. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. So if you look in our pens here, our calves are housed on straw bedding. Um, this keeps them cool in the summer, warm in the winter, and they're comfortable at all the time. We're constantly putting in fresh bedding and trying to keep it clean. Um, but then when you have all that bedding in there, that's absorbing all the manure and the urine. So we, what we have up in the ceiling here are these tubes. And these large tubes are pumping in air, similar to like the large steel tubes you would see inside a gymnasium or uh, auditorium or a theater or a, even like large, uh, like a Walmart or something. What that's doing is that's pumping in fresh air and pushing it down to the calves all the time. So in the winter, when it's really cold, all of our curtains will automatically close. We'll have some heat going in the floor so that it's warm down on the floor. And then we're pumping in clean air all the time. And in, a, in addition to cleaning everything that they're putting their mouths on, just like babies, the clean air is so important for calf health. Yeah, ab absolutely. Sounds like it. raising calves is a very important job because like you said, they're going to be the future of, of your herd. As the calves continue to grow, they graduate to the heifer barn. They will stay in this barn until they enter the milking herd. Let's go back to Dr. Colleen and learn more. Now we are in the heifer barn. So when those baby calves get a little bit bigger, they get moved over here. And so they're still in those groups that have the same age, same size. Um, so they're all growing up together. And then as you can see, we have their little stalls. You can kind of see. Um, and they're filled with sand. So it's kind of like their little bed and they get to live on a beach almost. Um, and so this is super comfortable for them. They have their each their own little stall so they don't have to fight over bed. And then they can all just come here and take a little nap whenever they feel the need to. So as our baby calves get older, we change what type of feed that they're getting. So they ha start with milk and then they have the grain that we already saw. And then when they come here, they get this kind of feed which is just a mix of a bunch of different things. So every day there's a big mixer that mixes up the feed. They take all the different ingredients that are in this and mix them together. And then we can kind of change the ingredients based on how old these guys are. So as they get bigger, the ingredients can change a little bit to help them grow um, when they're big mamas to help their babies grow and then help keep them healthy. If you have questions about dairy farming that we didn't answer today in this video, we have more farm tours and a frequently asked questions document on our website. Thank you for joining us for the tour.